Somebody's got money to burn. Shooting away. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, the 13th of June, 2021. And uh, ooh, hold on a second, we got we got a leany. Hold on. Tell you in a second what the problem is with that. Uh, let's see. Hold on, guys. I gotta fix this. new I said to myself I better be careful because I'm going to stack this too high and get ahead of myself and then I'm going to have an issue sure enough so give me just a moment That'll cover it for now. I just saw that that was leaning like that. I'm like, oh yeah, this isn't good. Hold on a second. Let me just see if I can. All right. Okay. So, so I'll have to refill in that now, but that's okay. So I got started on this today again, uh, just trying to bang it out. Uh, Beck came in and she did. A little like from there down the lower part and then I was filling in the corners and working on that corner as well obviously not fast enough on that corner but that's okay we'll get that squared away but uh, so the second row is more than half done now I just <laughs> gotta refill all that in but that's okay so then I got the three rows small space in between and that will be the next row. I'm not going to go much higher than that for now because I don't want it to shift and wobble and stuff. Uh, I will do another one here. So these will be three, and then we'll have four or five. And uh, I will, like I said, I'll utilize. I'm going to ha definitely have to order more wood. Uh, so what we got left out here is this here. So not too bad. Uh, today is definitely a very hot day as well, but I figured I got to get at this stuff. I didn't do any wood stack in the last two days. Uh, my back feels better today. And like I said, I'm literally just taking my time uh, in doing it. I'm not rushing, so uh, there's no rush. But uh, I want to get this all in and stacked before we do get any rain. 
I just there's no reason for it to get wet so you know and so that's what I've been doing so ah uh, so before we get into this video more <laughs> than we already are um, I will be live streaming tonight so I would ask you to please join me then for that and uh, so we will I'm not sure what the topic is going to be yet but the topic of this video we're going to be talking about why are all the prisoners being released right so the whole thing back when uh, the virus was supposedly running rampant and they started releasing all these prisoners and uh, what you have seen as a direct result of that is an increase of crime crime has gone up through the roof uh, especially with all the cries for police reform defunding the police police officers quitting in droves uh, you know, they're under a microscope, so you have a lot of police officers that are like, I don't care, which is a, it's sad, unfortunately, uh, that good police officers are not allowed to do their job, and as soon as anything goes, any kind of haywire, if you are of a certain color, they pull it out. Hold on a second, sir. Wait a minute. Before you go any further, here's my race card. Oh, oh, sir, I am so sorry. I didn't realize you had your race card with you. Go along now and have a nice day. Now, I'm being very sarcastic with that, but uh, people seem to think that they can... Not, and not, Please, let me just reiterate this from the very beginning. Not all, okay? I never, ever, ever will lump any group of people into one category. But, unfortunately, certain groups w do take advantage of uh, the situation and use that race card as an excuse to get away with bad behavior. And, uh, you know, unfortunately in this day and age, with everything going on, uh, you know, when you have CNN and different news agencies will take snippets of an encounter with the police officer and show that because it fits the agenda and not show the whole thing and show the behavior of the individual and how they were acting and, and those type of things, they're not going to show that. But anyway, I'm getting completely off track here of my point. I believe the people were released on purpose for a reason to cause more chaos, to cause more trouble. Uh, you look at, and I love how I saw this in the, in the news the other day, and this is kind of where I wanted to go with this too. The definition of a mass shooting, I think, is more than two people being shot. I think it's like three people being shot. Okay? So, if you've seen it in the news, I think they've, they're saying that uh, there's been 256 mass shootings so far this year. Okay? takes it totally out of context how many lunatics have we had go off this year and try to shoot up them and kill a bunch of people 10 20 okay something like that who knows I, I mean I don't even know what the exact number of that is so anytime the gangbangers in the cities go out there and start shooting up the party because somebody got mad for whatever reason uh, they consider that a mass shooting so that goes into that category so that it can, can sensationalize the numbers and continue to scare people to try to, obviously, for the sole purpose of getting rid of guns. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, uh, the anniversary for the Pulse shooting was just here. And so, of course, Biden is calling for more gun reform. And uh, now they've decided to uh, make that some kind of historic site or something I don't even know what they what they did but they're pandering is what they're doing they're pandering to a certain group of people uh, you know to show that look at we really we really do care when they could care less you know it's it's unbelievable uh, it is amazing to me <laughs> you know but I think a lot of these criminals were released to cause more havoc to cause more chaos uh, if you got a drug addict in jail and you let him go because oh my goodness COVID is running rampant, so he can go back out on the street and start stealing again. Uh, and then, of course, like in New York, they were doing the catch and release program. So they catch him, arrest him, send him to jail. There was one lady, I think, was arrested three times within a 24-hour period. I mean, these type of things, it's, it's insanity, okay? Absolute insanity. Uh, I heard of an instance where a car thief, uh, with, and I think it was a 36-hour period, was arrested, I believe, four times for car theft. Hello, sir. 
There you are. Um, there's Miss Soxy. Now in the summertime you will see Miss Sox out more because she does like the the summer, but when it gets cold you will not see Miss Sox outside very much at all. Right, girly? Right? Are you ready to go in? Man, somebody is definitely doing some shooting today. Yeah, I think she's ready. Yeah, you've been out for over an hour. Go in and rest. So, anyway. So, I want to hear your feedback. I mean, do you think that it was a complete intent on their part with releasing these criminals to just cause more and more havoc? Like I said, because I, I sure feel that way. I feel that that's uh, definitely what was intended, what they're trying to do, and all those type of things. So, it's uh, definitely an interesting scenario. Crazy times, my friends. Crazy, crazy times. All we can do is continue to get ready, continue to prep, and do the best that we can. That's all we, that's all we have control over. Uh, Becky and I this morning came out... And we have the three uh, new raspberry, or I mean grape plants that we planted this year. And so the weeds were getting a little out of hand again. So we came out here and we uh, weeded through this area. I need to get out here with the lawnmower once again as well. But So we just focused on getting this weeded out. But look at how these uh, two grape plants that we already have, um, we trimmed them back this year, as you guys know. Uh, they've really bounced back and are growing fantastic, so they're doing great. All right, guys. Well, listen, I'm going to jump off of here for now. Again, join me tonight, 8 p.m. for the live stream. A topic to be determined. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about yet. But uh, remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important. And we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing in day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that will stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.